Greetings folks, this beautiful plane is the OMP Challenger 1250mm wingspan acrobatic trainer I guess it is old school balsa and film covering all prefabricated, all you have to do is bolt the wings on bolt the tail on uh, and glue the uh, rudder hinges in it came in uh, one of the sturdiest cardboard boxes I have ever seen it's a full centimetre thick all the way around and it was double box too even so unfortunately my rudder came a bit crunched and it possibly even happened before it was put in the box I'm not too sure anyway I had to repair that just wick in a little bit of CA to start off with and also the wing bolt retaining nuts inside the wings had come unglued so I had to glue them back on as well other than that is just uh, screw it together and uh, go for it now some of the specs it is uh, has a 12 by 6.5 prop it's uh, set up for uh, fuel or electric 49 inch wingspan uh, motor is a sunny sky 28 20 1100 kV has four hefty 17 gram servos uh, and is designed to run on a 3s 2200 which seems a bit small to me uh, I've got a 2200 in there but uh, it's not going to last all that long they say the flight time is approximately four to ten minutes uh, I have a 4s 3300 as well to try so uh, we'll see how that goes CG is 62 millimeters which is about a centimeter in front of that uh, servo edge there of course it's designed to, to take off on a runway which I don't have here I have rough grass so I'm going to take the landing gear off and treat it as a belly lander uh, which well I can't work out how to put the brake on the ESC I may change the ESC for one that I understand and I can program up so we may break the prop when we land but uh, we'll have a good flight before then anyway has enormous ailerons with enormous throws on all control surfaces so you do need to dial them down I think uh, I do have 170 uh, and 50 percent rates and 40 percent expo all the way around so um, hopefully that will be mild enough for me to learn how to fly it it is uh, an acrobatic trainer so it's going to be extremely maneuverable and um, agile uh, but now's the time to see if I can fly it First off, I'm going to take off this uh, landing gear. And taking off the landing gear will affect the CG, of course, so I'm going to uh, reposition the battery to make sure it's giving us the correct CG. Well, it hasn't made a big difference, actually. We sh could be OK. I'm using my Radio Master Zorro and uh, an FR Sky uh, X6R receiver. I do have the 40 amp current sensor on there, so I will be able to give you some current and uh, voltage usage readout. All the hatches are nicely uh, magnet hold down. All right, we're ready to go. I'm on low rates to start off with. There's a light wind. Uh, it's going to be interesting landing in this. I hope I don't do any damage. But anyway, let's go. Perfect takeoff. It's flying very nicely, nice and slow. Yeah, cruising around, it is very agile. I need a bit of trim. So far, so good, very smooth. Five amps, that's good. Whoops, careful. F flying on five amps at this on 3S, that's nice. Oh man, it is so agile. Shall we throw a loop? I mean, a wow, look at that roll, and I'm on low rates. Uh, so yeah, it is very agile, even on low rates. Oh, the Maggie doesn't like it. Ah, oh, this flies nice and slowly. Deary me, I'm going to annoy the Maggies. 
I can even lower the rates for sort of nicer flying if you want uh, but this thing is designed to be thrown around the sky I would imagine bit of try a loop yeah lovely <laughs> well yeah axial rolls this is very nice indeed I like it bit of wind around so we're getting a bit of turbulence but um, inverted easily look at that Oh yeah, nice. I'm not. Oh, there is a bit of turbulence coming over the hill there, so I've got to be very careful. Keep it out here. So this is going well on 3s. I like it. 3.3. 3 amps. 11.3 Cool. I thought it'd use a hell of a lot more current actually. So um, if you're cruising around slowly like this, uh, then. You have a nice long flight time. This is a cool plane. Good colour scheme too. Uh, good for orientation. You can get the, uh, what is it, a red or a blue one I think. I chose the red. Nice slower roll. This is cool. It is very, very controllable. Fun to fly. I'm not much of a 3D pilot or acrobatic pilot. Not at all in fact. Um, much more into gliding and sort of cruisy FPV, but uh, this is a good looking and fun and easy to fly plane. I haven't got 50 off, I haven't got off 50% rates yet. First flight, I'm not going to throw it around too much. I have seen other people crash it on their maiden, so uh, I'm not going to do that. I do need to learn how to f land it in this wee. Wee! <laughs> Look at that. Radical. Let's try a snap roll. Wee! How cool. You could do a uh, knife edge if you're any good at doing knife edges, which I'm not all that good. I'm likely to crash it if I try. Oh no, it's... I reckon I could learn how to do a knife edge better with this plane. It's got uh, all the control you need. Uh, it'd be a pretty good sloper too. That wind is almost slopeable, I think. I might just cut the motor and see how we go over there maybe not maybe not enough to keep it up but uh, a bit more wind on a decent slope and it would work beautifully all right so that battery battery's getting a bit low I better bring it into land I might try the 4s volts. Well, that's as good as I'm going to get. I uh, hope it didn't break my prop. Pro, uh, motor brake on. Motor is brake now. Prop's okay. Didn't do any damage. Excellent. That worked well. Okay. Now we've got to put a camera on board. Going well. So we've still got 11.7 .7 volts left. Uh, so we can go again. I haven't had a chance to balance the prop or anything, so this may be a bit jelly video, but uh, as always, let's see what happens.
that's probably not the right way to land it, but uh, anyway, it still survived. Let's uh, go again. That was a bit of landing. So we have 4S now, a little bit heavier, a little bit more grunt. Have to be careful I don't break this part here, it's sort of a bit delicate. Wow, it wants to Fly around two and two and three amps with the four S. Magpie is going to do some damage unless I bring it in. Well, it feels great on 4S, but I uh, better call it quits. Just pretty sure they're nesting over there, so. Coming a bit slower. Sorry, mate. Beautiful. Tail first landing. Nice stuff. Sorry Mr. Magpie. So this is a very cool plane. I'm loving flying it. Yeah, I could do with a better field to land it and uh, we do have a little bit of wind so that's mucking it up a bit. Uh, but yeah, for some sort of basic aerobatics it's brilliant. Still flying on the uh, 3S3300 so I might try the 4S now um, and uh, just just have a little bit more fun. So this is the OMP Hobby Challenger 49. Uh, pretty interesting plane, I quite like it. Old school bolster and film and uh, a nice big sunny sky motor on it. Thanks for watching.